Hello. It is Monday, September 9th, around 4.30 p.m. I am on my way home from work. Pretty good day so far. So my coworker and I went out to lunch. We had Mexican food and it was the bomb. But our waitress, she was not in a good mood and my coworker is from Mexico. Um, and we go there all the time and the waitresses and staff are always super nice but for some reason today this girl she's newer she was just ugh. and every time she'd come to the table she'd only talk to my coworker, and she'd speak in Spanish and then she got our orders wrong and then she took my plate before I was even done and walked off before I could say anything and she did not get a very big tip and it just after that my body was just like I am exhausted I need a nap I just want to go home and be with my happy happy fur babies but it's okay I'm off work I survived I made it you know didn't murder anyone so still got my job as far as reading goes this morning I listen to maybe an hour of the music of what happens by bill his last name starts with a k so far i'm really liking it it's about two boys who are in their senior year of high school i believe and they end up working together on one of the boys' parents food trucks and the other boy decided to help out because if the food truck didn't succeed, they were going to lose their house. So they end up bonding over that, and it turns out they're both gay, and they develop this really sweet friendship, and they're just really funny together, and I love their personalities, and they're kind of learning about their identities and the and kind of coming and growing into themselves basically and I'm about halfway through the book I started it last week something really like tra a little traumatizing happened to one of the characters and my heart just like it hurt so bad for him and he's so confused and trying to like process it and he just started something with somebody else and so that was horrible timing and I'm just like on the edge of my seat like please let everything work out of I'm also reading the second book in the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater it's called The Dream Thieves and this one is my favorite so far it's my second time to read the series I'm reading it for the Raven Cycle Read Along that's hosted by Books and Lala. And I am really, really enjoying this reread. This time reading it, I gave the first book five stars because going through it, it's so cool to see how masterfully she did this series, which I didn't realize the first time I read it, but she puts blatant facts in there that come up later in the books and you're like oh my god I'm such an idiot how did I not see that it's been a really good experience I'm about a third of the way through the dream thieves and I'm hoping to finish that by the end of the week I'm also on my way to the library I have some books on hold because I'm really trying to utilize my library and not buy books, which I think is very befitting of someone who is going to school to be a librarian. <laughs> okay, it's only been like 30 minutes. I just gotta say, like, I'm sure you can hear my air conditioning. It is September 9th and it's 95 degrees outside. Like, Arkansas, get it together. The butch whack. Butcheroony. He's just been playing. Hello. It's a few hours later. Um, I am in bed. So, I read Yo Soy Muslim 
which is a kid's book by Mark Gonzalez. I got it from the library, and it is so stinking cute. It is basically a children's book, and it's a father's letter to his daughter. And the artwork was stunning, and the story was really sweet, and I love that it included... Spanish and aspects of Islam. I gave it five out of five stars. It was really cute. So I finished that, which means that was my seventh book that I finished this month. And overall, you can see uh, six out of seven books have been five stars. So it's been a really good reading month so far. I'm hoping it will continue, especially with the Latinexathon next week. But for now, I am jumping into A House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's like a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling, and it's supposed to be super dark and fantastical, so I am really looking forward to it. And I have just wanted to read it since I saw the cover. Like, it's just gorgeous, and I love the title, and I love that it's supposed to be really dark and creepy, and I've heard mostly really good reviews, so I think it'll be really, really good. My animals are, like, crowding me. Hi! This is my mom's cat, Oliver. She's staying with me for the summer. Yeah? You have anything else to add? Yeah. She's a little cranky pants. Um, Butch is on the floor, and Lucy is on the other end of the bed, just glaring at me. So I think I'm going to try to read for maybe an hour. But anyway, I'm going to jump off of here and read this. If I don't fall asleep, I may check in in a little bit, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, it's like five minutes later, but I just had to point this out. I'm wearing a charcoal face mask, and I think it's hilarious that I kind of match my book. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, if that's not book nerd goals, I don't know what is. Hello, it is Tuesday, September 10th. And I am on my way home from work. So work was really good today. But I got a little bit of reading done today. I listened to more of, oh, what's it called? The music of what happened. So I'm about 70% of the way through it. It's pretty good still so far. It's starting to slow down a bit. And I just want things to happen. And I still have two and a half hours left of the audiobook. So I'm hoping it will pick up soon. And I'm kind of leaning toward a three star, but if something awesome happens soon, I might bump it up to four. And I read more of the Dream Thieves for the Raven Cycle read-along, so I've read about 30 more pages. And that one's just going slower for me since I'm annotating during my reread. I'm still, I'm about 50 pages into House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig, and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really not far enough into it to, to really have any thoughts on it yet, but if it, I mean, it started off pretty strong. I didn't, I haven't been bored yet, and right now we're just getting to know the family and kind of learning their backstory but basically as far as I can tell right now it's a retelling of the 12 dancing princesses their family is cursed so when the book opens uh, four of the princesses who are all sisters have died and even though they look like accidents or one looks like a suicide. One of the main character, Anna Lee, who's one of the princesses, is starting to question it and be like, 
were these really suicides and accidents or something more sinister going on and her father has a newish wife and she gets pregnant with a son and all of a sudden her dad kind of changes a little bit and that's kind of where we're at she's just appalled at his 180 about grieving and and how long they should grieve and all that which I'm making it sound kind of boring but so far it's pretty good and that's where I'm at so when I get home I think I'm going to make dinner I'm trying really hard not to eat out at lunch every day for work just because I work in an office in my own office and I do get to talk to my coworkers and like stand up and walk around and stuff so it's nice when we go out to lunch and just get out of the office but I'm trying not to do that I'm trying to stay in and either eat in the break room with my coworkers or um, sit in my office and eat and read and I actually really do like my office, so it's not a bad way to spend my lunch break. So I <laughs> I made frozen pizza last night because I'm lazy, but I think tonight I'm actually going to cook something so that I can have more than dinner and lunch left over, and then read. I also need to film. I was going to film yesterday, and I didn't and now I'm regretting it. My hair looked really cute yesterday until I went outside in the heat and that's why it's up today. But I need to film my Latinx Athon TBR and I really want to film a book review for Ziggy Stardust and Me by James Brandon. I also want to do a book review about There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Manan love that book. So I'm trying, I really need to just film a bunch of videos so that I have pre-filmed videos for when I don't feel like filming and editing and uploading. And that's been my downfall. So that's what I need to do this week while I'm not super busy. I'm a master of library and information science grad student right now. It's my second master's degree. And I'm about to start my practicum next week. So that's going to be one day a week for the next 10 weeks. And even though it's just one day, I do have to fill out, like, lesson plans and journals and stuff as my, like, assignments so I can get a grade. So that's, I feel like that's going to take up more time than I'm thinking. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. So I really would like to film more videos this week and then possibly a lot more videos this weekend and then I also need to edit my July and August wrap ups because I am super behind and took a hiatus from booktube and now I'm regretting it. So I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hello. I'm just spilling the tea. Um just filmed two book reviews so I wasn't gonna film today and then I was like oh I need to edit a video and then I said oh I forgot to take my thumbnail the other day and I looked like a hot mess so I put some makeup on and then it was like you know you put makeup on to do a thumbnail you might as well film while you're all made up so here I am Lucy is very unhappy that she's not getting attention, but she's made a few cameos in the video. So, um, obviously they're just so neglected. A whole, you know, 30 minutes out of the day. Hi! I see you! Lucy has also tried to knock my tea bag out of my cup, and it almost spilled on my books, so that was fun. But, yeah, my night's going really well. I filmed a review for... Ziggy Stardust and Me, and I also filmed a review for There's Something About Sweetie by Sandy and Manon, and I also need to film my TBR for the Latinx Readathon, and I'm still kind of getting it together, so I'm probably going to wing it a little. Yeah, say hello. 
I know. You just want all the attention. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be it. I know. She's been so whiny. And she's one of those cats where if you don't pet her, she will pet herself on your hand. And now I have cat hair all over me. She's very opinionated today. But, um, yeah, I haven't really read anything, but I think once I get done filming, and I, you know, wash my face, I'm going to read House of Salt and Sorrow, because I don't really feel like annotating right before bed, and that one I'm just really, like, I want to keep going. I've been thinking about it all day, and I haven't had a chance to read it yet. So I think that's a really good sign. So I may check in with you before I go to bed. And if I don't, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello. It is Wednesday evening around 840 and I am lying in my bed, if you couldn't tell. It's been a long but quiet day, which I'm okay with. Uh, work was good, but I was so freaking tired. Like, I was sitting at my desk, kind of nodding off. And I think it's just because it was warmer in there. But then I get home, and I'm, like, wide awake. And so now I'm like, I want to read everything! And it's just, you know, it's a mood. So, I finished the music of What Happens. And I don't quite know how I feel about it. I think I'm for sure going to give it three stars because it started off feeling like a really light contemporary that was going to be funny and fun. And all of a sudden, like 60% of the way through, something happens to one of the main characters which was fine plot-wise, but it wasn't really fully developed and explored. And then all of a sudden, this huge thing happens to another character, and it was only vaguely hinted at at the beginning. I didn't think it was going to be a huge plot point. And I feel like that wasn't really addressed either, and I just felt like it was... A little bit too pretty of a bow tie gift wrapped ending. I mean, it ended on a hopeful note. It did have some good messages for readers, but I feel like it was trying to be two things at once and it didn't really work out completely. So I enjoyed it. It was a good read. But I don't know if I'll ever read it again. Oh, I don't really feel like reading The Dream Thieves because I'm going to want to annotate it. And I don't want to do that in my bed. And I'm already, like, settled. Butch is chewing on his elk antler if you hear noises. Yeah, I basically made dinner and watched some Worst Cooks in America. So... My plan, I'm kind of wanting to read, like, everything right now. So I'm not really in a reading slump. I'm in, like, a reading frenzy. <laughs> and everything sounds good. And it's like, Stephanie, like, get it together. Calm down. So what I think I'm going to do is... Read more of House of Salt and Sorrows. And if I feel like I want to pick something else up, I'll go look at my bookshelves. I did get quite a number of books from the library. I'm not very sleepy right now. Probably because I've had a ton of caffeine today. A lot of caffeine. So much caffeine. So... I'm probably going to be up for a while. <laughs> Lay down. Lay down. I love it when she's cuddly. Yeah. Good girl. Hi. 
So I probably will just check in with you guys tomorrow. That's my evening. So I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm at work right now. I'm kind of ducking behind my computer because it's still awkward vlogging in public. Um, I promptly fell asleep right after my update yesterday and woke up at three o'clock this morning with all my lights on and everything. So I was obviously very tired. But on my lunch break today, I read some more of the Dream Thieves. I read about 20 more pages. And then I read a little more of House of Salt and Sorrows. I read about 20 more pages of that. And that's about it. So, but I'm all caught up right now. I'm mainly just waiting on people to send me stuff. So I'm kind of, yeah, this is my office. Nice and sunny. I may do a tour one day. You know, 10 by 10, whatever. But yeah, that was my check-in. So I'll probably read for a little bit and keep checking my stuff. Hopefully people will send things in because it's just so satisfying to close a claim and knock it off your list. Like, it's a good feeling. Hello. It is Thursday evening around 10 and I have filmed a video, hence the makeup. I edited my July wrap-up. I'm currently uploading that now. I'm so behind. Hi! Hi, bud. Got one animal. Another animal, you can probably see her paws. And Miss Little Bit. Hi, Lacey. I started the right swipe today. Not sure how I feel about it. It started off kind of steamy and interesting and now like I'm ready for something to happen and I'm about 30% of the way through it. I'm listening to the audiobook so we'll see how it goes but I also read more of um, House of Salt and Sorrows today. I had some downtime and oh my god God, that book gets creepy. Like, I was reading <laughs> on my lunch break, and I was just so into it. And one of my coworkers came in my office and turned the lights off, and I didn't realize it. And so I'm in this spooky scene, and the lights go off, and it scared the crap out of me. <sighs> but it's so good. And I'm honestly probably going to stay up way later than I should reading it. What else? My copy, my signed and personalized copy of The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young was supposed to come in today, but my post office could not get it together. So now it's supposed to come in tomorrow by 8 p.m. So I'm really anxious because sometimes the postal delivery person doesn't deliver packages to the correct address. Um, my apartment building doesn't show up on GPS. It always sends um, the person one street over and you can't really see the building number from the street, even though that's not the case for all the other buildings in the complex. So I don't know what it is about my apartment building, but Butch is now chewing on his elk antler while I'm filming, but it's okay. But yeah, so I'm, I will feel a lot better when it actually arrives because I don't know what I'll do if it goes to somebody else and they don't bring it to me. Like it's signed and personalized and Adrian has already been and gone from that bookstore so, I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably just preparing for the worst, but anyway. So, I'm just waiting for my video to finish uploading, and then I'll make some social media posts to get the word out. And while it's uploading, I'm going to take my makeup off and listen to some more of the right swipe 
And after I'm done with all that, I'm going to bed and I'm going to read House of Salt and Sorrows until I pass out, which honestly probably won't be that long. It's Friday! It's Friday! I am so freaking excited. Not only is it Friday, it's payday, which is always nice when you're broke. But I did not read anything last night. After I checked in, I updated a little bit of my bullet journal and then passed the heck out. So, woke up at 4.30, thanks to Butch, took him out, and then went in and out of sleep until 6.30. So, running a hair late for work, but I just won't be there as early as I wanted to be. But, yeah. I am bringing my laptop today so that if there's any downtime or like on my lunch break, I can edit some videos. So I have about a 20-ish minute commute and um, I'm probably going to listen to BookTube because the right swipe is kind of getting on my nerves right now because... I feel like the last 15% of what I've read, no, 50% of what I've read has just been them arranging or plotting to arrange a meeting. It's like, get on with it, like move it. So I'm hoping once they actually meet eventually, hopefully they do, it'll be better, but we'll see. I'm mildly hopeful. So. Anyway, I will check in with you guys later. Alright, it is Friday, about 6.30, and I have been a potato since I got home from work. I am just kind of channeling my inner child and coloring a little bit while listening to the right swipe. And honestly, this book is getting on my last freaking nerve. <laughs> like, I know the author is trying to build, like, romantic sexual tension, but I'm, like, 40, almost 50% of the way through this book, and nothing has happened. And it's really sad when you get to the point where you're like, oh my god, just jump his bones already. Like, just do it. So, I don't... I don't know if I can finish this. And then she said they were doing, um, she and the love interests were like at a business dinner and um, <clears throat> he walked her out to her car like a gentleman and she goes, you can kiss me if you want. Like, I don't know. She's just, uh, she's not likable and maybe she's not meant to be. But, I just don't like her, and just nothing's happened, nothing has happened. I don't, I don't understand why people are raving about this book, like maybe the ending will make it better, but I don't know if I can make it that far. <laughs> I'm so like, I've been sitting here listening to it for like 10 minutes and I'm already this irritated. Lucy is too. She's very opinionated today. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stop listening to that for the evening because it's just pissing me off. And I don't know. I don't know. I may start a new book. We'll see. I did read about 30 more pages of House of Salt and Sorrows today. I'm really liking it and it's getting a little more dark and fantastical as we go so I think it'll be really good. I have not read any more of The Dream Thieves yesterday. Today. 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 I did have a chance to edit so I edited 
a book review video and then I started to edit my August wrap up so I'm hoping to get that wrap up edited by tomorrow night and then I can post it Sunday and I'm really trying to get on a consistent schedule because that has been my downfalls. I feel good. I feel good about this. So ideally I want to post twice a week minimum and I'm also planning on doing mid-month wrap-ups because my August wrap-up unedited is 30 minutes which is way too freaking long and I am gonna cut it down so I don't know how short it's gonna be when I finally do get it edited but it is ridiculous can you say hi to the camera this is my mom's cat Oliver and Butch is always jealous I'm sure you heard him barking hi she's a cuddly monkey you're so jealous Oh my God, so dramatic, like, geez. So I think I'm gonna nix the right swipe for right now and go from there. I may pick up the near witch and listen to that, or I may start something completely different, we'll see. about 11 30 okay bye Saturday in the year of our Lord 2019 and I have not read a single word today but I woke up about 9 30 and made some breakfast and I've been watching Olivia Reads a Latte's reading vlogs while I update my bullet journal. So it's been a grand old time. Yeah. I read about 50 more pages of House of Salt and Sorrows last night and I am loving it. I'm about halfway through. And it's so dark and atmospheric and creepy and I like it a lot more than I thought I would and I thought I would like it so I can't wait to finish it and also my copy of the girl the sea gave back by Adrian Young came in yesterday and it's so pretty I don't know if you can see but there's like glittery stuff on here it's so nice and it's signed and personalized it was through Kepler books and so she always has a stamp and she did a little rune signature and then me and the last thing is this book is gorgeous like it's so pretty and metallic and even if I end up not really liking this which I don't think is gonna happen but even if I end up not liking this this is so pretty like Goals for today, I need to go by the library and get my other books that I requested. I think I have like seven to pick up. I need to do that today or tomorrow. And I also need to finish editing my August wrap up. I'm finally almost caught up on my wrap ups. And 
I really wanted to post that on Sunday, tomorrow, but now I'm thinking that I want to actually post my review of Ziggy Stardust and Me by James Brandon because I loved it so much and I want everyone to read it. And I cannot find another review on this book. So I'm really wanting to get the word out there. I mean, you know, maybe it'll go viral. We can only hope. Only like two people are going to watch it. It's okay. One of them's probably going to be my mother. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hall monitor strikes again. Apparently, Lucy was getting out of line. This is Butch Whack. Yeah, you're such a good hall monitor. I know. He and Lucy will, like, stop and freeze. And then Lucy will, like, meow a little and, like, slowly slink away and stay as close to the wall as possible. And you're just waiting for the inevitable. And then Butch lunges and it's a high-speed chase, so... I love them so much. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to bed and get in my jams and read The House of Salt and Sorrows. Ideally, I would like to finish that today. And if I do finish it, I don't know what I'll read next. Hello, Lucy. Oh my goodness, you're being so precious. Yeah, you're being so precious. Hello. But it's just demanding his turn for attention now. But yeah, I'm going to finish updating my journal, finish um, Olivia's vlog, and then get in my pajamas and go back to bed and read for however long I feel like. And just have a really chill Saturday. And I will check in with you guys later. Came home and we got a visitor on our patio. Hey girl. Hello. It's significantly later. I read about 50 more pages of House of Salt and Sorrow, still really loving it. And I listened to about an hour more of the right swipe. Things got really steamy. It was really good. And then it was one of those mm, things where they're like, things are about to happen. And then they get interrupted. And I'm like, oh my God, we're halfway through the book. Just do it already. Just do it already. You know, do what you got to do. Just get it done. So I stopped that book for a while because it's irritating me and I really want to finish it. But I honestly have no like, I have no investment in these characters. So I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. So we'll see. But um, the Latinexathon starts tomorrow, and I am super excited. Go from there. I'll probably pass out while I'm reading this because that's been my thing this week, but we'll see. So I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
Do you know what day it is? Is it whimsy day? Is it whimsy day? Sits. There you go. Okay, bye. Future Stephanie here. I realized that I forgot to wrap up my vlog, so in compensation, please accept the following extremely embarrassing video that I sent to my best friend Shane in Chicago. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Shorty had that apple cinnamon tea and a butch with the fur. And all her cats were looking at her. She sent a snap, got snapped back. Shorty got low, 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 low. Pinkies out.